Hello friends, in this video we are going to validate dynamic placeholder. So for that I will take this application. In this application you see the search bar. Inside the search bar the placeholder is dynamically coming. So we are going to validate this placeholder. For that I will go to the Eclipse and I will create an array list. List name equal to new array list of string. Semicolon. Then you can you can able to see there are eight product different product names are coming dynamically. So I'm going to add this eight product names which are coming dynamically that text only in my array list. For that I already create type this thing. We'll copy the this eight product names. After this, we are going to launch the Chrome browser and uh, Branch the application also. Once done means after this we are going to inspect the search bar. So right click. You can able to see the input is the tag in that the placeholder is getting changed dynamically. So I am trying to find the export for this input tag. So I'll copy the placeholder, input, we, go, we are going to use contains, why means it's the values are changing right, last uh, product name value, so I use contains at placeholder, comma, in single quote static thing I will write, search for. Now copy the text text path here by dot by by dot x path then I will give the name as product products of equal to after this this uh, Placeholder it takes to oh, entire placeholder will take some seconds to display. So we are going to use one explicit weight. So I will declare explicit weight web driver weight equal to new web driver weight driver duration of seconds i will give 20 seconds after this for int of i equal to 0 i i am giving as less than 8 because there are 8 products are there so 0 to 7 it will take i plus plus then i am going to print the each product name so system println I will provide one search for the static text space followed by product name. So AR dot get a index value I'm giving. After this, I will call the weight dot until inside that expected conditions dot attribute to be here the first is by locator second string attribute the attribute means attribute name we need to give here we need to give placeholder after that we need to provide the string value i am going to provide the string value as array list so uh, i will copy this entire thing paste it here <laughs> 
after this so we will run or save the java class and i will run the java class let's see whether within 10 seconds it is able within 20 seconds it is able to run or not then we go to console First, print an statement, it will print. After that, it will wait for 20 seconds and it will check whether the pedigree is appearing or not. Otherwise, it will throw the exception. Yeah, it's printing each product placeholder names. So after that, eight product eight yeah, product names are get printed. So it will stop the execution. So one thing I will do, I try to remove uh, this two let let us. I will just change the product name. Then I will save it and run the Java application once again. So it will start getting printed. It will wait here and it will check whether the this search for this uh, product is appearing or not. If it is not appearing means it will throw the exception. So it is throwing the timeout exception, which means it tried for 20 seconds each 20 second uh, in explicit weight it will check uh, 500 within interval of 500 milliseconds it will check whether this uh, text is appearing or not if it is not appearing means it will throw the exception timeout exception so try this thing in your uh, uh, workspace and uh, if any other way is to do this uh, to validate this dynamic uh, uh, placeholder, please uh, add that command in the, in the below, add that code inside the below commands. Okay, thank you friends.